Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. A new release from Liquid Art. The boys and girls from the Belgian bottler Liquid Art have selected their next cask. And I came this close to not talking about it to you, but uh, luckily I still have just a tiny bit left. It's a rather new release and I, I, can, I can see it on your faces. You're already wondering if this is a new release. How come it's already... Sharing is caring. Um, Liquid Art, Belgian bottler. New release, a secret Highland distillery, distilled in 2010, bottled end of 2020, making this a 10 years old. But a secret Highland distillery, that means that the boys and girls from Liquid Art are not at liberty to divulge whence it came. I have no such compulsion. Uh, but nevertheless, I don't want to get my friends from Liquid Art into trouble, so I'm not going to reveal the distillery itself. Ooh, there is the sun again. Lovely weather. What I can tell you is this, the cask where this has matured is literally a 20 minute stroll away from the Brora golf course. There you have it. You do the math, you figure it out. So a bourbon cask, as you can see, and it's got this, this very white winey color. This bourbon cask uh, yielded, I don't remember how many bottles, 174 bottles, and this is distilled at 51 0.9% ABV. So a secret Highlander, 10 years old, from around the Brora village somewhere, bottled at 51.9% ABV on the nose. Ah, <laughs> quince, Granny Smith apples, banana, meringue, if you're familiar with that, gooseberries, beeswax, some marzipan, nougat, raw rhubarb in, in fact, and even a bit like a Brussels waffle with whipped cream. Mm. Oh, gone. Oh, oh well. Lovely, lovely nose, right on the palate. Mm. <laughs> very creamy, very sweet. A bit piquant as well. I get some cardamom, salt and pepper, some green herbs, in fact. But then there's this lovely trace of smoke that really wraps itself around mostly white fruit. But there's also a bit of citrus kicking in there as well. And it's lovely, lovely. It's, it's nicely waxy, like, like, like you're used to from Klein, Klein, uh, Klein, um, the secret Highlanders. Very waxy indeed. Lovely on the finish. That finish is long, quite feisty still, but nicely balanced. And to think that this type of whiskey could have been blended away in, in Johnny Walker Gold Label, for example, which is a nice enough whiskey in itself, definitely, but a lot of this goes in there. This is, Johnny Walker Gold is basically a lot of Klein Leash topped off with some other things. So there's a, just saying, that's, that's Johnny Walker Gold for you. Anyway, uh, I'm very happy that uh, the boys and girls, my friends from Liquid Art, look at that beautiful label. I'm very happy that they were able to secure this cask for their next release. The Secret Highlander, 10 years old from 2010 for Liquid Art. Get it while you can, it's still out there because it's only just been released. So you might still be able to get your hands on this beautiful, beautiful Highland whiskey. Ah, there she is again. Don't you just love Belgian weather? Up and down, up and down. Nevertheless, it's always good for a lovely whiskey. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may them all be with you. Bye-bye.